Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the component lead editor inside the Cadence PCB tools. What this does is allows us to physically model the, the pin on the pad um, from the data sheet. So if you've got a gold wing style in this example, um, I want to model the contact area on the pad. So I can then, um, depending on the level of tools that you have, you can either do a visual inspection or you can actually do some design through DFM DRC checks. Um, so you check your level of uh, licensing to make sure whether you've got this supported or not. So if we look under the setup and lead editor, what we can do is we'll see a graphical representation of the part. We'll see um, a list of the pin numbers and then we'll also see some help. Um, there's kind of a, a visual representation here to, to, to zoom in, get some information, turn layers on and off, etc. So you can have a look at that. Um, and it's just a matter of assigning the leads to what you want. So we're going to start off with, I'm just going to get the data sheet of the, the gold wing that I've got. So it's a typical SOIC8 with a gold wing style. Uh, and it's this contact area here that I want to physically model. So what we're going to do then is we'll, we'll select the pins. So in this example, all the eight pins are the same. So we can just uh, select the pins in this option. We're then going to assign the leads. So you can see we're supporting things like the ball, ball collapsing, non-ball collapsing for your BGA types. Um, there's some flat flat leads, flat lugs, uh, J leads, goal wings. Um, so there's quite a few options here um, for, to cater for most uh, PCB footprints. This example is a goal wing, so we'll select goal wing. The help documentation will then update to, to give us a description and a graphical representation. We then need to then decide um, the contact area. So our contact area in this part here is a rectangle, and then we need to populate with the values um, for what we've got. So let me just uh, refer to the data sheet quickly. So in this example, I've got a 0.45 width and a 0.52 height. It's the same for the And then the length of the gold wing is 0.27. There is an offset um, X and Y, so you can actually offset the pads. And I've got an example where we actually physically use this. So once you're happy with that, we'll then uh, hit apply. And that physically then applies the lead type um, up here and it graphically shows you the contact area that you've drawn. If you're happy with those values, etc., we can then close. And then on the symbol itself, we get that graphical representation on each pin. Um, just to show you that in the different colors. So we'll go to the colors and the geometry layer. And we now have a layer called component lead that shows that, that rap graphical representation. Let's just turn the pin on, you can physically see that pin. Once you're happy with that, you can then save your symbol and that gets written as part of the, the drawing file. Got another example, so let's go to the next one. So this is a um, connector, four pin connector. In this example, um, two of the pins are the same, uh, the other two are different, so we need to do some different modeling here. So let's bring the data sheet up. So this is kind of the connector there, my pin leads, my pin sizes. So I need to kind of model this, this shape here on the, on the PCB footprint. So again, set up lead editor. So this example of pin one and two are the same. So we'll start off with just pin one and two. Um, and we need a through rectangular to choose the pin type. And again, you'll get the graphical representation. This isn't exactly matching the connector, but it's a similar kind of process um, for that connector type. The contact figure again is in a rectangle. So in this example, uh, this one's in thousands of an inch, so mils. So I need 52, 12, 52, 12, and the length is 167 for the pins. Uh, no offsets in this one, so we'll hit apply and that gets added to pins one and pin two. We then need to do uh, pin four, so we'll deselect pins one and pin two, we'll do pin four through rectangular, rectangle. And this is a reverse effect because the pin shape is slightly different. So it's still 12 and 52, but just in the different orientation. We do actually get a dynamic view of the pin here as well. 
apply that and that then puts the pin in for pin four and then finally for pin three uh, we've got a slightly different size so it's still a through rectangular it's a rectangular style pin and this one is eight and fifty two We'll apply that one there. Once we're happy with that, we can then uh, close that. Again, we'll see the graphical representation. Let's just turn the colors off so you can see that. Component lead on, pins on. Okay, so we'll save that symbol. We'll then move on to the last example, which is slightly different because we're using some shapes. So uh, let's go and open the LED. So in this example, I've got some, some different orientations here. Let's just get the uh, data sheet up so you can see that. I'll bring the data sheet in. There's the LED. So I've got this kind of this concave style uh, pad shape here. You can see that on both the views here. <coughs> so we need to model that. So set up lead editor again. Um, we're going to do uh, pins one, two, three, four, and five first. So we'll do the bottom row first. And we need to use, uh, it's a side lead, lead concave, which gives us this kind of opening similar to the, 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 the data sheet we're showing. The contact figure, we're actually gonna use a shape. Um, so you can actually use shape symbols here. So we'll browse for that and we want the concave up lead which gives us this shape we'll click OK then specifying the sizes so Here we need to add an offset to obviously offset it from the center of the pad and it's in the Y and it's 0.55 so if we apply here you'll get that graphical representation you can see the pin here we'll then uh, deselect pins 1 to 5 and do 6 to 10 um, so we want the side leave concave this is also going to be a shape this is a concave uh, down lead so we get the different option so the size is the same so 1.65 1.1 1 .1, 0.6 and in this example it's minus 0.55 so we hit apply there we'll get the graphical representation happy with that we'll close that uh, look at the colors um, not constraint manager let's look at the colors and we'll turn everything off geometry component leads there's the component leads put the pins on as well just to show that and that's a representation and obviously you can zoom in and, and try and do a, a with your component leads to see the geometry um, to see that what you're looking at and go from there